Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix crashing and freezing issue with Pathfinder Wrath of Righteous game on your Windows computer. Now, first of all, go ahead and delete the Owlcat entry from registry editor. For this, type in registry editor in Windows search box and then click on registry editor. Click on yes to allow. And then expand H key current user and then expand the software folder and then scroll down now over here you can see all cat entry make a right click and delete this key so make a right click then click on delete click on yes and after this go ahead and close the registry editor then restart your computer and after the restart you can go ahead and try to launch the game the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver for this if you have NVIDIA, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD, go to AMD website. So I'm showing for NVIDIA. Go ahead and select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select the right operating system. Then click on search. And after that, go ahead and download the file. Once the download is complete, run the exe file. Then you will see the screen. Click on agree and continue. And then put a check on the box which says custom. And then click on next. And then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Then click on next. And after the clean installation, you can go ahead and try to launch the game. The next step is to allow the game exe file to, uh, to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, so if you have Avast, Norton, McAfee, Bitdefender, whatever antivirus you have, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. And in case if you are using Windows security, go to the start menu, then click on settings, then click on update and security, and then click on Windows security, and then click on virus and threat protection and then click on manage settings scroll down here you can see exclusion and here you can see the option which says add or remove exclusion so click on it and then click on add an exclusion and then go to the select file and go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed go to the game installation folder so open the steam folder then open the steam apps folder then open the common folder and here you will find the pathfinder game folder so you have to go ahead and open the game folder and then select the game exe file from here so just make sure that you select your game folder in my case it's not there you will find the pathfinder um, game folder over here and open the game folder and then select the game exe file and then click on open and once the exe file is added over here you can go back once again and scroll down over here you can see control folder access click on manage control folder access and then click on allow an app through control folder access and then click on yes to allow and then again add the game exe file so click on browse all apps then again go to the game installation folder and then open the pathfinder game folder and then select the game exe file and then click on open and once the game is added over here try to launch the game now the next step is to verify the game file for this go to the go to steam and then select library and then you have to go ahead and make a right click on the game so this is just an example so make a right click on the pathfinder game and then select properties then go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files and then try to launch the game the next step is to install a visual c++ file for this go to this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down here you can see visual studio 2015 17 and 19 so install both x86 and x64 version so click on both the exe file and once the download is complete run both the exe file so make sure that you download both x86 and x64 version click on repair or install whatever you see click on yes to allow run both the exe file and click on repair or install click on yes to allow and let both the installation complete do not click on restart now once both the installation is complete you can go ahead and click on restart or you can close this window then go to the start menu then click on the power icon then click on restart and after the system restart try to launch the game the next step is to update windows to the latest version for this go to the start menu click on settings click on update and security and then click on check for update and once the update is installed restart your computer and then try to launch the game the next step is to run the game as an administrator for this go to the game steam and then go to library make a right click on the pathfinder game so make a right click on the pathfinder game and then click on manage then click on browse local files this will straight away take you to the game installation folder so just make sure that you 
open the common folder and then open pathfinder game folder and once you open the pathfinder game folder you will see the game exe file so make a right click on the pathfinder game exe file in my case it's not there so in your case just open the pathfinder game folder and then make a right click on the game exe file this is just an example and then select properties and then go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator put a check over here then click on apply ok and then try to launch the game from the game installation folder so instead of launching the game from steam you can straight away launch the game from the game installation folder now the next step is to for laptop users with dual graphic card so if your computer has a dual graphic card so in that case make sure that you are running the game on the dedicated graphic card for this again type in graphic settings in windows search box so type in graphic settings then click on graphic settings and then click on browse and then go to the game installation folder so you have to go ahead and again go to the or oh, you have to open the steam folder so open the steam library folder and then open the steam apps then open the common folder then go ahead and open the pathfinder game folder and then select the game exe file and then click on add once the game is added over here this is just an example click on the game click on the pathfinder game once the exe file is added then click on options then select high performance and then click on save and then try to launch the game the next step is to disable steam overlay for this again go to the library and make a right click on the pathfinder game and then select properties and if this option is checked which says enable steam overlay while in game uncheck this and if this option is checked which says keep game saves in steam cloud uncheck uncheck both the option and then try to launch the game also close any other overlay application if you have so if you have discord running on the computer go ahead and close discord so if you have discord running go ahead and close discord now if you have geforce experience running go ahead and close geforce experience and if you have any overclocking application running on the computer go ahead and close the overclocking application so do not overclock so if you have msi afterburner running on the computer go ahead and close it if you have reva tuner running on the computer go ahead and close reva tuner and close all the background applications so uh, make sure that only game and the steam is running rest you can go ahead and close all the browser all the application and then try to launch the game and you can also go to the settings and then in the search box you can go ahead and type in background apps and then click on background apps over here and then turn this off and then try to launch the game perform clean boot this will uh, go ahead and improve the performance so type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration and then go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft service so first of all go ahead and put a check over here first make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on disable all in my case i already did it so this option is grayed out in your case it will be highlighted so put a check over here first then click on disable all then click on apply then click on ok and then you will see the restart option restart your computer and then try to launch the game the next step is to try to lower down graphic settings so go to the in-game graphic option and then if the game setting graph game graphics is set to high or maybe ultra select medium or lower graphic settings and then try to launch the game now in case if nothing is working you can go ahead and uninstall and reinstall the game for this again go to steam library make a right click on the game click on manage then click on uninstall now go to the game installation folder and delete the game folder then restart your computer and then reinstall the game and then try to launch the game so one of the steps should definitely help you to get the game running so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel